Leopard geckos are one of the most popular pet animals in the world. They are native to Southern Asia, and they live on a diet of insects and other small invertebrates. Scientists have found that leopard geckos can regenerate their tails and skin cells, which is one of the reasons why they are so popular with researchers. The animal is used as a model organism in order to understand how regeneration happens and how it can be applied to humans. Having small bodies with large heads, making them look like they have large eyes on top of their head. They also have small tails which they use as a defense mechanism when threatened by predators. The skin on their back is covered in scales which allow them to change colors based on temperature, mood, or environment. Leopard geckos are found in the deserts of North Africa and Asia. These reptiles have adapted to their environment by having thick scales which protect them from the sun, sand, and heat. Incredible leopard gecko facts. Leopard geckos are one of the few gecko species that lack sticky pads on their toes. While most geckos are able to easily climb up walls and other flat surfaces with ease, leopard geckos have claws rather than microscopic seti. These tiny claws on the end of each toe are better suited for traversing the leopard gecko's dry, rocky environments in the Middle East. Aside from bearded dragons, leopard geckos are possibly the most popular and most widely domesticated pet reptile in the world. Leopard geckos can drop and regrow their large fatty tails as a defense mechanism. If a leopard gecko feels threatened or is being chased by a predator, they can sever their own tail in a process known as autotomy and make a quick escape. It takes a few weeks for the tail to grow back, and the new tail will usually have a different pattern or slightly different color from the original one. Leopard geckos, unlike the majority of gecko species, are terrestrial rather than arboreal. This means they prefer staying low to the ground and aren't very strong climbers. Appearance Leopard geckos are perhaps most well-known for their unique leopard-like spots. The typical wild-type leopard gecko is primarily yellow with small brown or black spots evenly distributed throughout its head, body, and tail. As hatchlings, these spots look more like horizontal stripes or bands, but they gradually spread out into spots as the gecko grows into its adult size. While the typical yellow and brown wild-type geckos are the most common nowadays, there are more than 100 distinct leopard gecko morphs which are like distinct breeds developed through careful, repeated selective breeding. Some of the possible color variations include patternless geckos and albino geckos, and geckos with orange, red, white, lavender, and even solid black coloring are becoming more prevalent. Leopard geckos are an average size species as far as geckos go. As hatchlings, they are only seven to 10 centimeters long and only weigh a few grams. They grow fairly quickly though, and they reach their full size at around 18 months old. An adult leopard gecko is between 17 and 27 centimeters long and weighs anywhere from 50 to 80 grams, with females being slightly smaller than males on average. Habitat. The leopard gecko is native to dry, hot deserts and scrublands throughout the Middle East, Countries include India, Nepal, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iran. This habitat is dry and hot and lacks much dense vegetation. So leopard geckos prefer to stay low to the ground and hide amongst rocky outcrops and occasionally in shallow burrows. Over time, reptile breeders have plucked the leopard gecko from its native habitat and distributed them all over the world. In captivity, Leopard geckos should be housed in 20 to 40 gallon enclosures, with ideally one gecko per enclosure, as they prefer a solitary lifestyle. Enclosure conditions in captivity must be kept hot and dry to mimic their natural habitat as closely as possible. Caves, branches, rocks, and other decorations should also be provided for enrichment. Behavior Leopard geckos are mostly nocturnal both in the wild and in captivity. More specifically, they are crepuscular, meaning they are most active in the evening and very early morning hours. 
They generally hide away in burrows and rocky outcrops during the harsh, hot days in their natural habitat and come out to hunt and breed at night. These geckos are mostly solitary animals aside from breeding, though they have been observed occasionally living in small, loosely defined colonies. Aside from the ability to drop their tails, leopard geckos possess a few other key defense mechanisms to help them survive in the wild. Perhaps the most obvious is their skin color, which helps them blend in with their rocky, sandy native habitats. In addition to this, Leopard geckos have extremely sharp hearing and sight, and they have especially good night vision to help them traverse their harsh desert environments at night. Like most reptiles, leopard geckos shed their skin every four to eight weeks, depending on their age. Young geckos shed more often, as they are growing rapidly. It is common for them to eat their shed skin, both as a nutrient boost and to mask their scent so predators are unable to detect them. Diet Leopard geckos are fairly strict insectivores, so they primarily eat small insects. They are also opportunistic predators, though so they aren't terribly picky, especially in the wild. Some of their favorite foods, both in the wild and in captivity, include beetles, locusts, mealworms, and grasshoppers. However, it is somewhat common for geckos in the wild to eat arachnids like spiders and scorpions if they become desperate and they have even been observed eating other, smaller lizards when their main food sources are especially scarce. Reproduction Leopard geckos reach sexual maturity at around 18 to 24 months old. They are not necessarily loyal to one mate and will mate with many different geckos throughout their lifetime in the wild. Upon reaching sexual maturity, wild leopard geckos will seek out mates by giving off and smelling each other's pheromones, which are secreted from femoral and preanal pores on their hind legs. Males will often compete and fight over female mates, and they display typical courtship behaviors towards females. Like many reptiles, male leopard geckos have hemipenes, or two penises, which are stored inside their vent until it is time to mate. These hemipenes assist in mating so the male's tail won't get in the way regardless of which side or position he mounts a female. Wild leopard geckos usually breed in the warmer months during spring and summer, though captive geckos can be bred any time of year if they are housed in proper conditions. Female leopard geckos lay small clutches of only one to two eggs at a time, but they can produce as many as three individual clutches after mating. Most gravid females will lay eggs around three to four weeks after successful copulation, and their eggs take between 35 and 90 days to hatch depending on their incubation temperature. The eggs are small and oval-shaped and have soft, leathery skin rather than a hard shell. Natural predators. Despite having some clever defense mechanisms, Leopard geckos have a wide variety of natural predators to look out for in the wild. Their most common predators include snakes, birds, frogs, and spiders. How leopard geckos play a vital role in defining the process of regeneration. Leopard geckos are a type of gecko that can regenerate the skin and tissue on their body. This is a process that takes place in mammals, amphibians, and other animals. The first step of this process is inflammation. The second step is the formation of new tissue. The third step is to heal the wound or injury with scar tissue. The regeneration process depends on how long it takes for the animal to heal itself. For example, if a gecko has an injury on its leg, it will regenerate its leg in about two months time while humans take about six months to heal themselves from an injury on their leg. The regeneration process of a leopard gecko is similar to the human process, but there are some key differences that make the leopard gecko an amazing creature. For instance, unlike humans, it does not have to experience inflammation before it can regenerate its tissue. The process of evolution is full of mysteries and unanswered questions. In this video, we looked at the mystery of leopards and their tails. We discussed how they grow their tails and why it is important to know about them. Till next time. Peace and have a wonderful day.